So I'm going to show you a really simple way to add end screens to your YouTube videos because they're really a powerful tool to keep your audience engaged. Now, first, you want to jump into your YouTube studio. This is where a lot of the back end work of putting together your videos really happens. And I want to say first, keep in mind when you're recording the videos or editing the videos to allow five to 10 seconds at the end of the video to be able to put this end screen on. You can put it on any video, but if you allow space to put it in there, it really helps you out when you get to this point. But once you're in the YouTube studio, you can do this when you first upload a video or to any existing videos. I'm going to show you with a video that I just uploaded here. You want to click on the little pencil icon there to open up the edit feature. And when you're in here, you can add obviously add your details, your description and all of that. And you click next. And in the video elements page, you'll see here add an end screen. Now, you could do this two different ways. You can import from an existing video or add one from scratch. Just for the example of this, I'm going to add one from scratch. So what it shows you here is sort of what your video, a preview of what your video will look like. And then it has some of these built-in templates for what you want. These squares here are our videos, and the circle is your subscribe. So let's find one that works best for us. Or obviously, you can import from your latest video. If you haven't done one yet, then this option won't appear there. So let me just start with something really simple, just one video and one subscribe. So you click Add. And it automatically will take you to the end of the video here and show you exactly what it looks like and how this is laid out. And you can move these around anywhere you want on the screen, right? And this, again, this square is a specific video. This is your subscribe button. So let's say I want to just throw that there. And we want this up in the top corner. And actually, just for example, we're going to do it this way. We're just going to go opposite corners just to make sense. Now, with the video, you have a couple options. Uh, you can put your most recent upload. So it's the video that you uploaded last, and that'll keep refreshing. So every time you put a new video, even if this video is a year old, two years old, it will play the most recent upload. The one that I like here is the next one down, which is best for viewer. Now, this takes into in consideration whatever your viewers watch history is or what they're interested in or what they tend to gravitate towards. And it will suggest that specific video from your channel to play for them. And so if you don't know what else to put, I always suggest going with this one because it's the best one. It's, it's allowing YouTube to figure out what the best video for the viewer is and suggest that. And then obviously you can select choose a specific video. It'll give you a frame of all your videos on your, your channel that you can select from or you can search. But for this, I'm going to say best for viewer. And then again, you have the subscribe button. So when you're moving these around, you'll see that if you leave it like this, you'll see a red area here. That means you can't have them overlapping, right? So we're just going to put those into the corner. Down below, you'll see these little slider bars, right? So this shows the last 20 seconds of the video. By default, it allows you to put an end screen up to 20 seconds of the last of your video. Now, if you've already done the work of like building an end screen into there, whether it be with graphics or just having something, you know, static playing or, you know, some people use like bloopers or something that's happening there, uh, that will pop up. And you can slide these so that you can decide exactly where you want it to come up. So let's say we just want it to come up like the last 10 seconds. And then you can click on the video here and it'll give you just a playback so you can see what that looks like, exactly where it's going to move. And there you go. You can see how it pops up on the screen. And now these are all clickable. When you hover over that, people can subscribe. And then the video, once it's actually live, it'll put the thumbnail of the video that, that it, it is suggesting there. And you'll see, too, when you go back to look at the video, it'll be different. It swaps it out, which I think is really kind of cool. And then once you have that laid out and you're happy with it and you like the way that it looks, you can save that. And again, if you're using end screens, now the next time that you upload a video, you can just import from your last video and it'll bring that up here. You can add the rest of your information next and be done that way. We'll just leave that private for example's sake. And you click save and that's it. You have an end screen. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.